<笑>全ては星々の戦闘星々よ開拓者たちに真なる祝福を改善しない二倍速ってこんなもん Hello everyone and welcome back to another video Here we are with one other playable character in Honkai Star Rail and that is Asta She is the lead astronomy researcher who's responsible for pretty much handling all the affairs in her space station and let us get straight into the swing of things So what I want to do as always is give you folks a breakdown of the character and just what her role is in the overall scheme of things. So we'll kick things off, of course, by talking about her elements and her path. So her element is fire damage. Fire damage is a really, really good element in the game. And tying that with the harmony is really, really vital as the harmony is a path that provides buffs to the entire team, which essentially can differ depending on the character that you are using. In this case, for Asta, she provides speed buffs, which can be really, really good for characters like Seal, who do specialize in speed. But more importantly, in the grand scheme of things, speed is of great importance in the game of Honkai Star Rail, where your turns do matter. And so the more speed you have, you can therefore act faster than the enemy. So that being said, let us jump into the next portion, and that is her level. She is currently 6 out of 60. And her stats are as follows. I definitely need more crit right here, but crit damage is 120. Fire damage boost is 62.8. And then, of course, you can see the rest on screen. Now, let's get into the meat and bones of her entire kit. So, first off, we have her basic attack called Spectrum Beam. This is a single attack, and this deals 90% of Asta's attack as fire damage to a target enemy. And the additional bonus here is that basic attack has an 80% chance to burn enemies for three turns, making the target take fire damage over time equal to 30% of Asta's basic attack at the start of each turn. So what does that mean? Simply put, more damage. Uh, you are essentially using your basic attack, which normally isn't like always your most strongest attack, but because you have the additional buff of getting more fire damage over time, is really, really effective for Asta. Next. This is her skill called the Meteor Storm. This is a bounce ability, which I'll go into in detail very soon. Deals 42% of Asta's attack as fire damage to a target enemy and bombards them four more times. Each bombardment deals 42% of Asta's attack as fire damage to a random enemy. And the substat here says when using your skill that deals additional damage one time to a target enemy. So Essentially, with this bonus stack on top, you're getting that five more times additional damage, which is nice. And so bounce, what does that mean? So most AoE characters, in the case of, let's say, like Jing Huan, for example, Jing Huan, his AoE is pretty straightforward. It hits all characters at the same time. Whereas with bounce, it's kind of RNG based where the enemy that you're likely to hit will definitely change. So if you're targeting, let's say, three enemies at once, the bounce effect will target random enemies and so one enemy will likely have more damage than the other that's pretty much what bounce is and so we'll go into more detail there with the ultimate and this is her astral blessing which is her support ability and this increases the, the speed of all allies by 58 for two turns and the substat states that when using her ultimate asta will not reduce her charging stacks for the next turn so you're probably thinking okay what are her stacks what does this mean let's jump into it talent this is called astrometry this is her passive ability, and it says gains a charging stack for every different enemy hit, plus an additional stack if the enemy hit has a fire weakness. 
For every charging attack Asta has, all allies attack is increased by 9% up to 5 times. At the start of every turn, Asta's charging stack count is reduced by 3. So basically her charge attack is really effective in dealing more damage and of course as it states here for every charge attack that you have you're increasing the overall damage of your team by 9% up to 5 times. So essentially that is 45% and when you tie that in with of course your additional skill which gives you that bombardment and 42% of your attack this of course is really really effective so utilizing your skill and your ultimate are really really good as your ultimate helps to buff the team by 58 for two turns which is really really game changing and of course this also states that when you use your ultimate you will not reduce your charging stacks which then helps to benefit you in terms of dealing your damage and as i said before increasing the attack of your team so this is really really good as to honestly for a four star character very very strong in my opinion as i said speed is really vital in the game of honkai star rail where turn-based decision making is really critical and every decision you make on each turn can spell whether you succeed or you fail the mission or objective and so being able to have more speed of course is a great benefit and then lastly we have the technique called miracle flash and it says immediately attacks the enemy after entering battle deals 50% of Asta's attack as fire damage to all enemies. So all that ties into fire damage. Of course, her, her technique can then coincide with the likes of her skill and of course her talent because her talent does state that uh, if the enemy is hit as a fire weakness, she gains a charging stack. So if you use your technique pre-battle and you get that talent ability proc, this also can be of great merit. So moving forward, all that being said is in her details. For traces now, this is more like her talents. And as you can see here, we've leveled it all up to level six. Most of them have. And so just like you would in the Genshin Impact, where you're leveling up talents, it's the same thing. And of course, I have to wait till Ascension 4 to get the you know maximum level and Ascension 5 and so on and so forth. But essentially, you're just buffing your abilities to therefore gain more damage and more utility. And then, of course, your bonus abilities. These are also really vital too because it gives your character a little bit more meat to their overall just utility as a character. So in this case, Ignite, for example, states that when Asta is on the field, all allies' fire damage is increased by 10%. So what does that mean? Well, simply put, if you are teaming Asta up with another fire character, let's say Himeko or Hook, these characters will then have their fire damage increased by 10%, which is really, really good. And we'll see in her light cone very soon her light cone actually does help to support a fire damage type of team composition but again we'll wait until we get to that point other stat bonuses include more fire damage you've also got another bonus ability it says basic attack has 80 percent chance to burn enemies and then of course you have your crit rate boost your fire damage boost some defense and then so on and so forth as you can see here so Based on what you've seen on this particular traces page, you can clearly see that fire damage is of great importance to her kit, but also you want to be thinking about crit rate or at least crit damage to get some extra damage in there for her. So she's not necessarily a damage dealer. She does do damage, of course, and that damage is over time, as we've stated in the skill. But I think where most of her merit comes from is pretty much supporting the team therefore buffing the team's attack as you said before and as well as buffing the speed so this is a light cone here now this is not her signature light cone i'll show you her, her light cone afterwards but this particular light cone is a three star light cone it's called chorus and is part of the harmony and so the reason why i decided to use this one is it coincides with her ability in that she helps the attack increase of all your allies so this one for example is at super imposition level five this is the maximum like an r5 in genshin impact and it states that it increases the attack of all allies by 16 percent and effects of the same type cannot stack which means that if you are for example himiko and asta the same type cannot stack so just keep that in mind so going into this I'll show you her signature one, which is right here. It's called the Planetary Rendezvous, and it states that when all allies deal the same damage type as the wearer, damage dealt is increased by 16%. So as I mentioned, teaming her up with the likes of, let's say, Hook 
or let's say Himiko, who both do fire damage. This can really be a great piece for you if you're looking to have a team composition that consists mainly of fire damage dealers. And of course, that can all depend on where you are playing in the game, whether it be the Forgotten Hall and you have a lot of fire enemies that are weak to fire. You can then use this as your light cone. But this alternative is also pretty good. And of course, you've got other ones as well. You've got this particular one, for example. This one, I believe, belongs to... I'm not too sure, actually. I can't remember. But it states that it increases the wearer's energy restoration rate when using a basic attack and skill by 16%. And for every weakness break inflicted on the enemy, it increases the speed by up to 8, up to 3 times. So if you're looking to increase your speed and your skill, or rather your energy recharge, you can then use this particular light cone. But in my case, I've just gone with just, again, buffing my, my entire team in terms of attack and speed. Next, we have the... Adalon. And so Asta's Adalons are, they're decent. They're not like amazing by any means, but they're still good nonetheless for what she provides as a unit. So the first one is called the Star's Lyricless Song. And it states that when using this skill, it deals additional damage one time to a target enemy. E2, the Moon understands its cycle. When using her ultimate, Asta will not reduce her charging stacks for the next turn, which is pretty cool very nice ability or rather Adalon and I've already unlocked three of them so I've unlocked E1, E2, and E3. E3 is just your ultimate boost getting more damage there if anything in this case it's not so much damage it's more so speed buff so that's always a positive. E4 when the aura Aurora manifests when Asta's talent charging stack count reaches one or higher her ER or energy restoration rate increases by 25%. So this I think is a good constellation or rather Adalon for Asta because energy restoration is always really good. It just means that she, she's able to provide more of those speed buffs at a quicker, more efficient manner and therefore can help your team to move quicker in battle. E5 is just your skill buff or upgrade, and E6, sleep under the Milky Way, talents, charging, stack, reduction, every turn is reduced by one. So if you can get her to E6, I think it's it's totally fine. I think it's uh I think all of her stacks are pretty good. And if it can help to reduce her charging stacks and help to, of course, improve her damage output, but also his team support, then definitely go for the E6. Recommendations, I would honestly say E1. E2, they're pretty good. Uh, I'd probably go as far as E4 because having some ER is also a positive. Again, as I mentioned, more ER, the faster you can proc your ultimate, which is always good for the team. And if you want to go even further, all the way to E6, you can. But it's not necessarily a game-changing type of ability or bonus to have. And then we have your relics. So here we are where most of the creme de la creme is for the character. And she is currently using the Firesmith of Lava Forging set which increases your fire damage by 12%. So the five piece gives you 24% in total, while the four piece increases the wearer's skill damage by 20%. And after unleashing the ultimate, increases the wearer's fire damage by 12% for the next attack. So this can be really good for her, of course, in terms of just buffing her own attack and also giving her skill damage additional damage, which is also really good for her because you want to get that additional damage over time, which can be really, really helpful for the team. And with the additional 24%, plus if you go, of course, into more detail, you get a necklace, you can get the additional fire damage boost as well. So now that we're talking about the relics in more detail, as far as the substats are concerned, you can go for things like effect hit rate or effect resistance, therefore, providing you with the additional buff or therefore you're not taking as much damage from the op opposition then you have crit rate and crit damage speed is always so good attack percent is always nice speed and then of course you have your feet your necklace and your article these are like your main three your first three are typically your flat hp flat attack and flat defense but as far as again substats go for some uh, attack flat attack speed crit damage effect hit rates not too bad those are, your, those are pretty much your, your go-to. And if you if you have it, you can also go for energy restoration rate if you want to have more ER on your character. But in this case, I went for more attack. I want to do more damage, but also buff the team just to give her a nice balance between damage and utility. But of course, it all depends on you and your team composition when the full game drops. And so that covers Asta in a nutshell. I tried to make this one pretty quick, 
not to go too far into detail as of course things are likely to change come full release but as far as the overall set is concerned i think this set really works for her just for overall kit and of course as i mentioned before her light cone can change it, she's actually more versatile than other characters where their light cone is really specific to them where i think for Asta's case, I think if you're playing a certain team composition, your light cone can obviously change from team to team. And in this case, I've chosen a three star in this case. So as far as teams are concerned, I typically go for a team composition that is all about speed. So if I was to choose, let's say this team that consists of Blade, Luocha, I can take out a Jinghuan. And I can put Asta in. And what Asta does is it, it, it helps Blade, for example, who's the main DPS, to get more damage output. He's fast. Giving me more speed is obviously great. Silver Wolf is good here too. She's a great debuffer. Allows for Blade to do all the damage. And then Luocha is there to heal. If you wanted to, if you wanted to have two DPSs on a team, you could also opt for someone like Seal. Seal, of course, as I mentioned before, is fantastic. And she melds really well with Asta. These two, I think, are going to be really, really good come full version. As, as I mentioned before, having more speed on Seal's kit can then help her to boost her overall damage. And again allow for seal to initially just take advantage of the whole situation and devastate the enemy without much thought so hopefully this is giving you a closer look at asta's kit and what she provides for the team again i do hope that the information i provided was detailed enough for you to understand and sufficient enough for that you can take note of it and keep it in your mind for full release so thank you so much for tuning in if you enjoyed the content and you have made it this far in the video please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I do have Patreon as well. I'll be making more guides in the future for Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, and more. So to subscribe or rather to become a Patreon, please feel free to look at the comment section and the pin section. Click the link. And for as low as $1, you too can become a patron for the community. Thank you so much for tuning in and all your support. Appreciate it. I'll see you folks in the next video. Peace.